Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good evening to all of you. Hi, Hi. Apa kabar semua? Sehat? Sehat. Okay, that's good to hear. So, kita kamu wakil lah. Wakil. <laughs> wakil untuk jawab semua kelas. So, hopefully everybody is in good health. Uh, in uh, Yalah, good health lah yang paling penting sekali kan. Okay. So, yeah, looking at the total attendance now, still at berapa? 48 orang. <laughs> okay, so, quite some number yet. 
uh, is yet to uh, log in. So I think we'll share we wait for that one first for the attendance to be uh, at least 80-90% full. Boleh ya? Okay, kita tunggu dulu. So as of today, uh, this will be my final session. Lah. Yeah, this will be my final session for uh, with you this semester for this uh, for this lab. Uh, to, to be, uh, and next week it, uh, we'll have our holiday then, as mid semester break. Right? Yeah. Next week mid semester break, and then um, the week after Raya. After Raya, Dr. Ahmed, okay, Associate Professor Dr. Ahmed. Well, we'll take over. Oh, kan tu ah. Ah, apa salah letak lab tangga. Okay, so hopefully, uh, I know some of you or a lot of you here uh, in the class, ah, uh, kita rasa kan tu kan. Okay, but. Record saya ni tadi. Apa saya pause kejap. Okay, so as for today, uh, for last session of my, last one of my session, uh, I would like to touch a bit on uh, this uh, three phase. I'm still on transformer, still on transformer, but this time around we will look at um, uh, in three phase. Uh, okay, three phase. So a little bit, a little bit of uh, intro here. So this uh, significant advantage of AC and three-phase technology over DC technology is that the electrical power can be generated in large power stations providing P equal to VI or IV. Eh? Then transformers are used to step up the voltage to a very high value, which means the I in the equation will be very, very low. Okay, this is the basic eh? this is the basis the basic in uh, power generation and distribution transmission sorry this transmission and distribution where uh, that p eh, this amount of power p is provided by the power generator okay gen generator uh, the stations eh? okay, where the power is generated and based on this amount of power p and the voltage is increased. Okay. When the voltage is increased to a very high uh, value, like the one that we have, up to 100, uh, 200, 200, yang highest, 200, 200 something volts, 200, what? Lupa lah, 272 uh, kilovolts. Okay. And then uh, using transformers, lah, we, we have a different variable a uh, varied amount of uh, value of voltage okay and then uh, after substations to substations okay coming from substation to substations the amount the the value okay of voltage is uh, changed through the use of transformers okay so substations to before we reach uh, where the destinations okay, where the power is uh, going to be used like in homes or in the factories okay there will be a smaller substations okay i think this one you can see at uh, sekarang banyak, uh right now there is a lot of new perumahan kan okay kawasan perumahan semua and then when they build this new perumahan you will see that they they also built this yang tu yang very small area segi empat tu kan okay they want the substation okay a lot of these small, small things are built there at the at certain area, at the, this designated area, okay, to so that the voltage can be stepped down to a usable uh, voltage, uh, which is in houses is um, in Malaysia around 240 volts. Okay, some of you might uh, be thinking, uh, some of you might be thinking that why does houses need three phase okay so <clears throat> yeah most houses doesn't need three phase okay most residential okay residential buildings 
no need. Okay, three phase. Okay, so usually voltage are delivered in three phase, and then they are separated each phase to for each lorong contohnya. Okay, so maksudnya the if we take a uh, and again from the power distribution, okay, we have three phase power. And then here is the substation, uh, substation, substation, uh, substation at the Abrama Promahando. Okay, and then this after step down, uh, after the step down process through the transformer, these three phases are divided. Contohnya. Okay, this is lorong satu, contohnya. lorong satu. And then phase number two to lorong number dua. Okay, phase number three is to lorong number tiga, contohnya. Okay. This is uh, traditionally traditionally how it's done. But uh, as of now, okay, as of uh, right now, currently, there are a lot more houses that is fitted. And the number of houses that is fitted with three-phase power is increasing. Okay, I don't know what they are used for, but yeah, you can now, apparently now you can actually apply Okay, for three phase to be fitted into your house. Okay, boleh. Okay, and then uh, even in our lab spoon, kita ada three phase. Okay, three phase uh, source. Okay, so yeah. Uh, the basis of this is because these substations is located very close to where the power is uh, going to be used. So the losses here is smaller. Okay, can be minimized. Okay, but at the power plant themselves, okay, here, using this equation is important because we want to increase the voltage so that this current will be very low. So P loss here, this calculation of P loss, okay, here, okay, where this I and this I, a small, the same I, eh, this one here and this one here is this, are, are the same I, the okay, current. So when we can in, reduce this amount, so then the loss will be smaller. So putting this low I right there, in the equation for power loss, okay, we'll give you low value losses over the overhead lines. And after traveling a long distance, the power is sent to the customers where step down transformers is used to reduce voltage to human and <laughs> To human and manageable voltages. Saya tak tahu siapa yang buat this one. Eh? This um, lab manual. <laughs> Certainly not me. <laughs> so transformers are divided according to their applications. As follows. So first one power transformer. In power stations. Okay, for transforming generated voltage up to high and extra high voltage. This one is step up. Okay, selalu na, in the form of step up voltage. And then grid coupling transformers for power exchange between networks. Okay, because uh, usually kalau macam kita dekat Sarawak, okay, there are a lot of points uh, where this junction, okay, where this junction, macam contoh kalau kita ada dekat batang I, kan contoh kan? Okay, batang I, uh, where the power is generated, yang yang close yang close by to kucing, eh? and then the one here there in Sejingkat also, the one in Sejingkat is using the one, the coal. Okay, call power stations. Okay, these powers are apa? These power delivered. Okay, during the delivery, they will go through several junctions. Okay, call this kita panggil intersections. Okay, these inter intersections. Okay, will also need transformers, coupling, yeah, grid coupling transformer to handle the exchange. Okay, yeah, power between different networks. Okay, this will be relevant uh, if uh, there is fault contohnya if there are fault happening somewhere yeah so this so that's why uh, so this uh grid coupling transformer will be very convenient in these cases because during the time of day yeah? one day during the day the amount of power usage the power the the load profile is not the same right load profile is not the same 24 hours there are times where a lot of more power uh, in one sector want to use more power. Like, macam siang hari, occasionally people go to work, right? 
or when people go to school. So in the school area, the industrial area, they use in the office, uh, in the office, okay, they use a lot of energy during the day. But during the night, they don't use that much. Okay. So this distribution of load is very important. And here is where the grid coupling transformer today is uh, will be very convenient. And I like macam kilang macam tu where time is money kan? in the in the factories where they usually operate 24 hours. So they will need constant amount of high power to be delivered to them too. Okay, to be delivered to them 24 hours macam tu dia. But in houses, okay, kalau hari biasa, okay, like in the uh, weekdays, a lot of people are going to work, going to school. So during the day, and the amount of power and the load, okay, the amount of power requirement for, for homes might be lower, right? And, but at night, when people come back home, okay, and then they start watching TVs, play games, play with the PC, computer, and all, right? And you will see that there will be increase, okay? So these are the kind of things uh, being looked at here. And in the middle of these things are uh, where these transformers play their part. Uh. So distribute next is distribution transformer for transforming voltage down okay, to medium voltage level means uh, what, from the power station, the power, uh, the voltage is in increased up to 200 something, uh, 200 plus, uh, 200, I don't remember, 272 or 232 kilovolts. Uh, okay. And then this distribution transformers are those transformers that step it down. Okay, bila sampai to this one substation, down to 133, kat contohnya, 133 kV. Okay, and then sampai lagi satu substation, this 133 turun lagi, substation baru, okay, 33 kV, ataupun 11 kV, 33 kV or 11 kV. Okay, this is important eh, because like I said, Okay, like I said during our previous experiments, okay, during the our previous experiments, uh, although theoretically you can do, okay, you can do step up and step down with this much of difference, okay, like two seven two directly to two hundred forty volts, contohnya, okay, boleh. By in theory, yes, you can do it, but Okay, but okay, in reality, doing so pose quite a bit of risk in terms of danger because right now, although the voltage, okay, the amount of voltage is changing okay, from very high to very low, okay, you need to remember this formula again, okay, this formula where the transfer of power when you step down the voltage, okay, there will be a surge in current. Okay, there will be a surge in current. So dealing with that surge, sudden surge of current, okay, will need a proper equipment. Okay, a proper equipment that can handle that much current. Okay, so that's why to avoid uh, to avoid damages to the equipment, to avoid further losses, okay, and then for cost-effective reasons, usually powers are okay, gradually okay, step down like this, okay, depending on their the locations and where the power is delivered. Okay, so yeah, we don't do 200 plus kilovolt down to 240 kilovolts in one go. Okay. In one go, we don't usually we more, more, usually we don't do that. Okay, they don't do that. They do it gradually like this through distribution transformers. And then we have this local distribution transformers that is that are usually situ uh, located, situated, and put place at the the small substations that again at very close to the residential area where it goes to the low voltage grid that is going to be used by the consumer. Okay, so 
So in about this, we have looked at uh, transformer single phase, can? Okay? Yeah, we have looked at single phase transformers so far. Okay, and for today we are going to look at three phase. Okay, three phase transformer, where we have here phase A, phase B, and phase C. Yeah, and all the three phases. So a three phase transformer can be imagined as a three single phase transformers put together. Yeah, put together and sharing the same iron core. Okay, they are still on the same core, but they are on different phases. Okay, this is possible because only one of the three coils will have generated current at one moment of time. And the primary and secondary of each phase are next to each other. So the core can carry current from R phase primary to the secondary, I think, secondary or of B or Y phase, but the secondary B or R are located far away. So induction in these secondary coils are at the minimum. The maximum induction will be at the R phase secondary. Okay. So transformers with load. Okay, we'll look at the load dulu lah, yang transformers with load. Nah. Load means that the transformer operates under load. So load could be resistance, inductance, or capacitance. So the equivalent circuit diagram for transformer with load is as the following. Okay, as this, uh, uh, as this one, this figure. And the phaser diagram for the transformer with resistive and inductive load operations uh, is in such as in this figure. So as for the experiments today, we are not going to follow this 100% uh, because, uh, you know, as we are using MATLAB, right? And we don't have this equipment at hand, in hand, right? Uh, in front of us right now. So what I want you to do is from the previous uh, uh, from the previous assignment, uh, lab though, you change the transformer into uh, into a three phase transformer. From a linear transformer, to change to three phase transformer, and you can use this results in it and discussions in it in this one as a guidance or to do your experiments. So. Uh, <clears throat> stop sharing and then um, MATLAB zoom. So as for this week, kita pergi dekat uh, mana Google Chrome, share Chrome. Okay. So right now I'm opening my MATLAB at the uh, ni yang dekat yang online punya online version punya MATLAB. I think you can you 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 know what how to do this right? Okay. So, uh, by using Simulink, again, the same thing, using Simulink. So, previously, we have used the, um, ni kan, apa tu? Yang uh, create model, blank model, again. And then, Previously, kita ada tengok yang tu kan? Apa nama tu? Yang... Uh... Okay. So, previously, kita ada tengok yang tu tu. Apa saya... Yang hari tu, power transformer kah? Power underscore transformer kah? Is this the one power transformer? Yeah, this one is this, the, but this one still uses kita panggil linear transformer. This one still uses just one, uh, one transformer, okay, uh, a linear transformer, but with two uh, output co uh, secondary coil, okay, where there is one primary coil and two secondary coil, okay, but. For today, I want to do some uh, something a bit more in terms of uh, nila. So where is the library? I think in the library 
you can uh, find um, You need to have a very good connection and a good PC too lah, to use this one online. Lah, because uh, I found this one to be very <laughs> laggy, very slow. <laughs> uh, but yeah, because this is uh, using it remotely yeah, from the server. So, uh, but yeah, compared to net running it natively on my PC here in the office, this is a, a, a tad bit faster. Lah. So for this one, kita cari yang transformer. Transformer. And I think you can uh, you see that there is um, the you can see that there is a three phase transformer. Uh, Okay, so here kita tengok ada in this one uh, ada mana three phase uh, ke sini kah transformers no yep windings uh, oh very slow this is so slow yang kita pakai before ni this one kah variable ratio bukan kan not not the one uh, ini a transformer. This one, multi winding. Ah, not winding. This one. Ini, this one can be used for uh, to replicate ah, the one that we are using here in the in the lab. And ni kita tukar dia punya windings ni. Eh? Okay, you can try to use this. Yeah, to replace the the current transformer that we are using in our experiment. Yeah. So again, remember that this is just simulating. Ah, everything is done through software. So it will be, it's your loss if you don't want to, ex, you know, to experiment because this is an experiment. So, you know, it's your loss if you don't want to experiment, you don't want to try. Okay. Uh, three phase transformer, 12 terminals. No, that one is too much. Uh, three phase transformer inductance matrix time. No, two windings. Mana three phase lagi satu. Okay. Think this one. Okay. So is it here? No? Mana? <laughs> Why is it not here? Ah. Say that it's not here. It's not here. Nah. Nah, coba enlaskan set as well. Is it there? Where? Tak ada kan? Saya dah tambah tadi kan? Saya letak kan? Dah, ada saya letak tadi. Ada saya letak. Let's try that again. Okay, that's why I, I don't really like to use this online. <laughs> Then even kalau kan rumah sebagai okay sikit internet uh, uh, internet at home is faster than here okay lah right, so oh, lama lah esok baru sampai lah macam hantar pakai kuria okay so we are going to use this uh, three phase transformer where uh, the one that we have used previously okay ada is a single phase right so instead instead of uh duplicating that transformer to three uh to three different uh oh, baru keluar ya Allah itu aku <laughs> to three different different circuit we want to have one circuit using this three phase transformer and for that uh I think you can uh mana three phase uh, three phase three phase uh transformer simulink tadi mana tadi okay so refer to this experiment here uh i i wouldn't run the video here lah okay nanti saya share ya 
refer to this experiment here nanti kita tengok you will see okay this one yeah so they built the experiment they are using a three phase transformer as you can see now instead of one power source kita ada tiga kan okay three ac source ac voltage source here compared to just one because this is a three phase so we use three now and then there will three there will be three output also okay three output also so for the experiment okay to answer this one lah okay to answer this one uh so the first experiment here okay so you build this kind of uh, circuit ni dulu lah okay something like this Okay, for the first experiment here, it changes the value of, uh, kita tengok dulu sini resistive load saja means uh, at the output here is only resistance saja okay, resistance saja and then change the amount of resistance, okay, change the amount of resistance, uh, and then uh, kita tengok situ dia punya uh, U20, maksudnya here, the output here, is uh, 220 fixed at 220 just the value of r dia tukar okay okay it step uh, dia apa change the value of r from r1 r2 r3 this uh, if we are using this machine then okay lah if we are using uh, the machine then kita boleh kita boleh spin pusing aja kan r1 r2 r3 until r uh until r4 oh, sorry saya sepatutnya share i'm sharing what right now my browser kan youtube ah sorry okay saya so stop jap uh i will start sharing uh different uh, saya so start share my screen okay so now you can see both huh? Okay, you can see the browser and you can see the PDF, kan? Yes. Okay, so for your experiment, you can base it on this. Okay, first one, okay, maybe you can build here on this part, uh, resistive load, okay, resistive load, where you can change the amount of voltage. And from there, you look at V2. V2 means the voltage after, uh, the voltage drop, lah. voltage drop at the, uh, resistor and then kira dia punya current and then you measure the power okay power at uh, one and power at uh, coil apa nama dia punya winding number two power at winding number one power at winding number two and then here is the dia punya apa tu uh, apa dia panggil efficiency okay power efficiency okay so this will be the first experiment yeah you see if there is a change in power efficiency when you change the amount of resistance in the load okay? and then you plot it here okay you can plot it here power versus efficiency okay so you will need power 2 uh, pwp2 uh, p2 and then the efficiency calculated uh, calculated here okay and you can plot the graph using pakai uh, apa nama pakai excel pun boleh okay you can use excel for plotting this graph or yeah whatever method you want to use okay and then second one transformer with inductive load then you change the load this ini Tadi, you can put the first one as resistive. Here is inductive. Maksudnya, uh, you fix the amount of resistance, but you add inductance. So, CD will be R. This will be RL. Okay? RL load. Okay? You do the same thing. Look at the U2. And then, uh, the difference in U2. And then, kita tengok sini, I2 berapa? Okay? See the change, uh, the proper uh, current. Yeah, when you change the amount of uh, inductance, yeah, inductance voltage, the stay, the voltage is stay there. 
And then third one is capacitive. Capacitive means means here on the third side, the third uh, face here, you change it to RC circuit. Okay, RC circuit, sini RL, sini R saja. So here with the RC circuit, uh, it, uh, here you change C1, C2, C3, C4, and C5. Okay. So that will be the task for this week. Brenda, ada any question? Uh, sir. Yeah. And the transformer uh, up to us nak step up atau step down kan? Ah, uh, ikut suka kamu lah. Because tadi over here in the experiments, you see. It just set up the voltage at the second secondary winding saja, kan? This one. Yeah. On the primary winding, they tak beritahu berapa. They ada beritahu lah. I think... Uh, ada? Oh, ada? Primary side is 380 sini. So maybe you can use this setting lah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you can use this setting. On the primary, 380. And then on the secondary side, 220 volts. Okay? Boleh? Eh? Boleh. Ah. So, I think this is simple enough. Kan? Tak payah buat different experiment pun kamu boleh. Kalau yang uh, using simulink, you can... Tak payah kira pun kamu... <laughs> Tambah-tambah aja equipment sini boleh kira terus kan? Keluar terus result. Eh? Like I said last week, the tools is there. Are there for you to use. So, yeah. Utilize it to the fullest. Eh? Belajar pakai this. Uh, using uh, using this. And uh, learn how to apa, use it to help you. Okay? Doing your experiments. So, yeah. Habis dah? Rasa. Very simple. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Uh, nak 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 confirm dengan sir. Kalau yep. for the resistive load tu kan. Theory uh -huh. resistive tu. Um, the first line kan kita letak R. The on uh -huh. the R kan. So, yep. the second and third tu kita biar kosong ke? Okay. I think you are you are misunderstanding something. Tadi ada saya letak kan yang apa? Tadi saya ada letak uh, like power distribution tadi. Usually, okay, power are distributed in transmission in transmission in three phase kan? Here is the substation that is close to your house. Okay, this substation will separate phase number one, phase number two, phase number three to supply different houses which means whatever happened here doesn't concern here and here it's like okay kamu tengok astro rumah sini orang sebelah ni tak mesti kena tengok astro sama dengan kamu kan okay what is delivered is just the power sahaja the energy sahaja how it is utilized doesn't concern them they are on the three separate, okay? This the three separate phase, independent phase on their own, okay? One, two, and three, okay? So you can have three different loads here, and they still will not affect what happened in the other phase because they are totally different line. See. This is phase number one, phase number two, and phase number three. So let, that's why I said you can make this a different phase altogether. Okay, sini buat R saja. Sini RL. You just assume that these are different houses. Okay, ini lorong cahaya satu, lorong cahaya dua, lorong cahaya tiga. Yeah, whatever you want to think, you call it. Doesn't matter. Okay, what, what happened in this phase 
only concern this phase saja. Okay, even if this is to blow up. Okay, maksudnya this rumah sini terbakar. Okay, so maybe I can uh, change to jadi warna merah, jadi, jadi macam dramatik sikit kan. Sini rumah sini terbakar. Oh, rumah sini terbakar. Okay, it will not change the power delivery for the house in the, the other line using the other phase. Of course, kalau if this phase is shared with house number one and house number two, then if something is happening here, house number two will be affected. But if house number two is using a different phase, house number three is a different phase. Okay, house number one burned down. Nothing to do with house, with house number two and house number three. Okay, so that is one more uh, advantages. Okay, one of the advantages of using three-phase delivery system like this. So that amount the kita panggil collateral damages okay, can be reduced. Okay, if something is to happen within this first phase, ini saja will affect only the one over here. The one or second one and third one is not will not be affected. So do you understand? Boleh yeah, faham? The explanation. Yeah, thank you. Ah, that one is a layman term, ah. Ah, itu layman. Itu cakap sim is uh, simply say. Okay, that is how it works. Wih, gelap ah. Apa salah gelap sana ni? Wih, apa? Tak hujan kan? Yeah, it is. It is going to rain outside. So no wonder saya bila saya tengok gambar saya bagi gelap lagi gelap kan. It's like ah, uh, kalau lah bagi gelap nak buat nak buka puasa tak apa kan? It's not. <laughs> okay, so other questions? And you can refer to this video eh, for the setup. Yeah, kalau asalnya you already know the setup ni senang je pun. Yeah, you can do exactly how we did it, or you can yeah do on your own. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a simple connection. Yeah, it's a simple setup. We just want to look at the apa nama this transformer under load itu saja okay i think this is very easy to understand right okay simple enough to understand so any question kalau tak ada then i think yeah that's it for today i will leave it i will leave the, you with this experiment and uh you did uh bila okay okay come on request bila <laughs> Bila nak? Lepas raya. Hello? <laughs> okay, lepas raya. Okay, thank okay, you. The week, the week lepas raya, hari ahad. Okay? Boleh ya? Boleh, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody is satisfied with that? Week mana, Kasa? Apa dia? I don't know. Week, week nine, nine will be. Week nine will. This week is week eight, right? And then we're gonna punch you. Yeah. Gonna... They take kira. We're gonna punch you. They kira week nine, right? Si kira tu. Ah, uh, itulah saya pun tak tahu. Lama-lama dah belas tahun dah saya ngajar. Saya pun lupa. They take. They kita kira. <laughs> okay, so they want take kira. So week nine lah. Week nine, yeah. Eh, jump. Raya bila? Minggu depan se. Yeah. Eh, bukan tiga belas kan, Raya? Tiga belas kan, Raya? Tiga belas. Tiga belas. So, another week, right? Minggu lagi satu, kan? Not next week. Kalau next week, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday baru sebelas hari bulan. Tak Raya lagi, kan? Oh, okay. Ya, lebih kurang lah. <laughs> Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Tuesday, Raya. Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Raya. Oh. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, lah, lebih kurang. So that week, that will be, so that next week tak kira. That is week three, mid-same break. And next week lah, week lagi satu lah kan. Okay lah, betul. Week nine lah. Week nine, ahad. Boleh lah? I think that one is fair. I think that that's fair. fair. I think that's fair. Right? I try to no, be no, fair. No, yeah. Bulan puasa, bulan puasa bagi banyak pahala. Bulan puasa. Bulan puasa.
Okay, so uh, if that's it, if that is all the questions from the floor, from everybody, so yeah, that's it. Hamidah, kelahan ini. So anybody still need the attendance QR? Uh, I will share this. Uh... Sir, nak manual boleh tak? Boleh. Sekejap lagi saya hantar. Saya letak dekat Elip. Okay, I will put the manual on Elip. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, so siapa yang plan nak datang hari ni, oh masuk lambat sikit lah kelas, nanti kita minta attendance belakang kira, oh so belum, belum, belum kau tinggal dah habis kelas dah. <laughs> okay, so if uh, you already have your uh, uh, scan your ten for attendance, and then uh, nothing else to, uh, and that's it, that's it for me. Thank you very much for the attendance ah. Huh? For attendance to the lab, I uh, really uh, apologize for any lack of uh, nila the material to give. Okay, macam apa nama the hiccups that we have faced during the classes, uh, during the labs with me. So uh, I tried my best, maybe not my best. What I can, I tried what I can. Okay, with the uh, setup, uh, with uh, the situation that we are facing right now. Okay. And uh, I hope if it's not, uh, even if it's not that too much or not all of it, but at least some of it, okay, you learn something from me. Okay, I'm happy enough if you are familiar, yeah, <laughs> familiar with uh, this one or uh, with Aprama Simuling. That alone already make me satisfied. Okay. So, yeah, hopefully you learn something okay, from the lab and hopefully next time we can, uh, you know, come back to Unimas and finish what we have started here and actually do some experiments. <laughs> okay, so that you can get your grades. Yeah. And as for me, this is, this is it for the lab. Okay, this is it for the lab. Uh, the, the, uh, Dr. Ahmed will take over after Raya. Don't worry about the reports. The report is the line. Report is the line. <laughs> okay. um, he will take over after this. And uh, we'll be doing on... Apa tu? Tajuk apa lagi tadi? Lupa lah saya. Somewhere, something lah. <laughs> after, after that one. Uh, kita dah learn about machine. Kan? Electrical machine. And then with, uh, with, the, with Dr. Hazrul. And then with me, Transformers, and Dr. Ahmed will take over after that lah. Okay, on whatever topic they nak buat tu. His style might be different a bit. Yeah. So, you have learned through Dr. Hazrul using yang software tu kan, yang website tu. Okay, with me, you learn to, you know, use Simulink. And um, sorry, there was not enough time for me to teach you a lot more. Yeah. Boleh-boleh, siapa ni? 65110. Again, not much uh, time for me to teach you, you a lot more about, you know, uh, simulink. But uh, believe me when I say there's a lot more to it. Eh? A lot more to simulink than what uh, we have learned so far. And yeah, use your time wisely. Um, uh, this is just, uh, there's no worries about messing about messing the equipment okay and rosak ke apa -apa kan? this is just all through simulation try okay experiment with it okay do different setups okay even if you don't want to put them in the reports stop okay but you know okay you know more okay about the thing you're more familiar with the ecosystem okay with the thing then it will be useful if you want to use it uh, in the future. Okay, especially kalau buat uh, next year will be your FYP kan? Okay, your FYP then uh, kalau dengan saya, memang mostly saya memang pakai MATLAB dengan Simulink. Okay, I'm comfortable with this setup. Okay, I'm comfortable with this uh, way of doing things. Okay? Low risk, 
high reward uh so yeah i will stick with this so kalau siapa siapa berminat <laughs> to do fyp under me then yeah you will you will be doing uh web using this again so ni siapa ni aisyah bro aisyah nak tanya tentang uh, lab 4 okay yeah lab uh, absal what happened anything about Aisyah. the lab 4 lab 4 that i need to know yeah yeah uh, untuk kira face kan yang previous lab tu Aha. Uh, kalau pakai yang power GUI tu dia automatic bagi angle untuk setiap uh, kram tu kan aduh mak okay, yang, yang tu kalau pakai yang tu kan perlu tak kira manual lagi tak ya oh, tak perlu lah. kalau pakai tu you need to know how to calculate saja rumus you you insert the apa nama you include the formula inside but you also include the apa nama the the punya block that is actually doing the calculation, right? So yeah, through the blocks, you calculate the face angle through the block only pun already enough. Uh, kalau yang our calculation tu tak sama dengan dapat daripada simulation, macam mana? Tak apalah, because the setting will be different for every people kan? Ada orang yang naik, dia punya resistance tu tukar line value, ada orang pakai line value kan? I mean, I mean, uh, like, for my own um, lab lah, my own simulation. Yeah. Uh, calculation tu tak sama dengan the one yang dapat dari simulation because yang guna power GUI tu dia specific for every graph. Kalau calculation bukan every graph kan? Ah, uh, uh, oh, for me it's okay. It's in the way it's uh, you are the one doing it. So as long as you justify your method, then it will be good enough for me. No problem. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Welcome. Anything else? Tada? Uh, sir. Yeah. Uh, saya hil uang. Uh, number C. What? Oh, attendance ah? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I thought you want to ask something here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, done. Number 4, sir. That's oh, not. Oh. Hil uang tadi macam mana dengar nama hil uang ada? Ada, ada. Ini? Ya. Yeah. Okay. Nombor 4, sir. Desmond. Nombor 4. So, Desmond lah? Ya, yeah, sir. Okay. okay Abdullah, mana Abdullah? Nombor 2, sir. Ha? Selalu ada je dia kata attendance dia tak dapat lah. Mana pergi Abdullah ni? Hilang ke? <laughs> Siapa ni? Siti Nur Nadia. Mana dia? Uh, uh, mana? Si Sir? Oh, Siti kan nama Siti. Mana nama Siti kan? Nur Nadia, internet problem. Hopefully, ya. Yeah. Mana-mana lah. Tak kisah lah. Okay. Lagi? Semua? <laughs> If nothing more, then uh, we will end the session here.